Father God, all these people had all these blessings come to them, and they didn't even know it. They didn't even know that you had sent them. They didn't know where they were. They didn't know they were on the way, Lord. They didn't know anything about it. But they kept going. And a miracle hunted them down. God's miracle working power. Lord, you showed up and showed off. And tonight, Lord, I want you to give a special blessing to the people that raise their hands tonight. They're grow going through tough times. And hey, I, I've been there myself, and I have empathy for them. I have empathy for them. I understand trials. I get it. I want them to be encouraged tonight. I want them to increase their faith and remember that on the other side of the mountain, their miracle is coming for them, just like Father Abraham. Their miracle is on the way. Thank you, Jesus. Now, I want you to stand up if you raised your hand so we can pray for you. You're going through a tough trial right now. It's a bad one. It's a bad one. Just stand up. There you go. Thank you. Father, they're standing up right now, and I'm going to ask you for a miracle now. They're standing up, and I'm expecting you to move by the Holy Ghost, the one and only. I know you will. Father God, if any person here <clears throat> has developed any form of self-pity who's standing up, who is getting impatient, they're wondering where you are. They're starting to question whether or not you're going to show up or not. They haven't heard anything. They haven't seen anything. I'm asking you right now, Lord, to have mercy on their souls. I'm asking you to forgive them. I want you to reboot their faith, Lord. I want you to reboot their faith to realize that they are like Daniel. When they prayed, their prayer was heard immediately. And then their heart was examined right after they prayed. And I pray right now, if any person's heart here is not right, Something's in there that shouldn't be there. Unbelief, doubt, fear, anxiety. I'm asking you to forgive them. I'm asking you to forgive them right now. I'm asking you to drive this spirit of doubt and unbelief out tonight. Every spirit causing doubt and unbelief in their minds has to be removed tonight. They're going through a trial because you have big plans for them. They're going through a trial because you've got a victory on the other side of the mountain waiting for them. And there's no question it's on the way. There's no doubt. There's no doubt. There's no doubt it's on the way. But any person here who says negative things, who believes negative things, who says hurtful things, about themselves, any person here who's frustrated with God, any person here who sees him negatively, who says negative things about him, he doesn't love me, he won't care, he doesn't care about me, he's not going to heal me, he's not going to deliver me, he's not going to help me, he's not going to visit me. I'm asking you to forgive that person right now, Lord. I'm asking you to forgive them. Every person standing up, I'm going to ask you right now, Lord, if they have any impatience, if they have any impatience, I'm asking you to forgive them right now. We're going to remove that. We're going to remove that. For in our patience, we possess our souls. And in the name of Jesus, any person 
doubting. I want you to give them the gift of repentance tonight like you told Timothy. Peradventure that God would grant them the gift of repentance. I want you to give it to them right now in the name of Jesus. Right now in the name of Jesus. I want you to give it to them, Lord. The gift of repentance. In Jesus' holy name. Thank you, Jesus. Dear Lord, I ask you to forgive me now. I'm asking you to forgive me for doubting. Hebrews 11.1, 1, that's my verse now. This is now faith, faith. I've got faith, pure pistis tonight. Amen. Now I'm going to help you. Dear Lord, I want you to forgive me for being impatient about my trial. It's been a long one. Some of them have been going on for years. Yeah, I know. I have, I have the same. Some of you are facing something you've been facing for years. Okay? Some of you ha have that and you're starting to get impatient. You cannot do that. If you get impatient, your answer will not come. You'll lose it. You must be impatient. You, you must be patient. You must keep your faith. If you do not, you will lose your healing. And you will lose your miracle. If you get frustrated and angry, you will lose everything. You can't do it. But if you repent and ask God to forgive you, he'll do it instantaneously. He'll hear your prayer just like that. He'll look at your heart to see if you're sincere, like he did Daniel, and then the miracle will come to you. The miracle will come. Thank you, Jesus. Dear Lord, I'm so sorry. So sorry I didn't believe you would heal me. I doubted you. That's a great prayer. Who else has that one? Come down here if you need to be healed. Anybody need to be healed? Come down the front real quick. Anybody? Nobody? Come on now. You need to be healed. We're going to pray like Joe is praying right now. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Hey, can you take this ministry team and come on up here? And uh, take that over. Ready? Here, will you take that? Here, start over here. We're going to come around and anoint you with oil. Lord Jesus, I ask you to forgive me for doubting. I ask you to forgive me for complaining. I ask you to for forgive me for becoming impatient. I got impatient. I am so sorry, and I'm asking you to forgive me for that. I'm sorry I believed a lie that you weren't going to heal me, that you didn't want to heal me, that you didn't love me. I'm sorry, Lord. I'm asking you to forgive me. I'm asking you right now to forgive me. Dear Jesus, help me right now. I'm so sorry. Say it. I confess it, Lord. And I'm turning my back on it right now in the name of Jesus. Yes. I'm going to repent of it right this second. I'm just going to repent and be healed. I'm going to repent and be healed. I'm going to repent and be healed. In Jesus' holy name, I'm going to repent and be healed. Thank you, Jesus. Come on. I'm going to repent and be healed. I doubted. I got my pa impatient. Oh, God, forgive me. I'm so sorry. Heal. In Jesus' holy name, I'm going to be healed. In Jesus' name, right now. That did it. There it is right there. Come on out. What's wrong with your body? It's That stuff is in my lungs. Oh, your lungs? What is it? Ever since I've been with Tommy, it's went in there. Oh, I, you are you away from Tommy now? Yeah. Oh, okay. I had the job and we left. You left. Great. Yeah. All right. Ready? Yeah. Close. Open your mouth. Add a girl. Father God, every spirit from Tommy, every transfer spirit, has to come out right now. Come out right now. There he is. Come on out. There he is. Right there. Come out there. Come on, come out, spirit. 
Come out right now, quickly. There he is. Tommy, come out. Tommy. Yeah, that body right now. Come out of that body right now. Tell Tommy to come out of there. Come out in Jesus' name. There you go. There you go. Come out right now. Come out. Come out right now. Come out of that body. I command your body to heal. Heal right now. Come out. Heal right now. Be healed. I command your body to heal. Holy Ghost, there she is. There's your faith healer, Lord. She's right here. She's right here. There she is. Spirit, come out. There he is. Come out, buddy. Self-hatred, go. Come out. Uh, you need to be healed? What's wrong with you? My, I have a torn labrum in my hip. Torn what? Labrum. Oh, where's it at? Does it hurt? Yeah, it's hard to walk. We're hot right now. Can you feel it hurt? Is it hurting right now? At this moment. Yeah, it's not. Uh, if when you squat, does it hurt? No, it's just if I walk a lot, then it hurts. Oh, it does? And what caused it? I don't know. Hiking. How long you had it? Four years. Four years, and then anything else wrong with your body? Um, I have gut issues and joint issues and spine issues. Oh, okay. Now, when you was little, what's this thing? The necklace. Where'd you get that? For my birthday on Monday, a friend gave it to me. What, what, where'd they get it at? Is this Native American? I don't know. No. Do you know where she got it? No idea. Well, and take that up. Okay. Now, um, did she give you those? Yeah, it, came, it was a set. Uh, okay. Is she Native American? No, she's Christian. Okay. Does this she have just, any? She just wanted me to wear colors because I wear a lot of black. Okay, that doesn't have any spiritual in, no. meanings. Nothing. Uh -uh. Okay. All right. Now, when you was little, did you used to hate yourself when you were little, and because of my upbringing and mom, was she verb? Were they verbally abusive, critical, nitpickers from the time you were little up to? Now? Still is? Okay. What's your mom's name? Debbie. Debbie. Okay. Now, here's what happens. Uh, I mentioned it earlier. You got a spirit of rejection from your mother and your dad, it sounds like. And when a kid gets verbally abused, the demon enters. And then later on, that spirit lets in fear spirits or spirits of infirmity and then as the person gets older they got all kinds of problems they got can you help me with her they got all kinds of physical problems joint problems organ problems weird pains crap like that and it started with your parents Trashing you. Are they both still alive? I don't have a relationship with my dad. He walked out when I was three. Where's he at now? New York. In New York. What's his name? Kevin. Kevin, your mom's name? Debbie. Okay. So she needs to be healed, but that's not what the problem is. So it's your parents. Okay. No, that's good. Now the transfers are the problem. See? So they came in from the parents when they were little. And now they're wrecking you. I've, had, I've been having surgeries and all sorts of things since I was 16 because I have so many different random issues. Okay, well that sounds like a spirit of infirmity. If they got multiple medical problems, that's a spirit of infirmity. That's just not a fear demon. Fear demons are usually joint issues. But she's got multiple layers of problems from 16 till how old are you now? My first surgery was 16, but. 16 to what? My last surgery was in 2019. All right. I had cervical. Okay. Okay. Now close your eyes. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, you see this beautiful woman standing here? She's got a good heart and she loves you, but her parents. Her parents crushed her. 
she didn't have a chance. She was young, she was innocent, and she was not at fault. But the devil targeted her for termination. And he knew that he was going to ruin her later years with chronic pain. It was all a setup. But tonight, the spirit of infirmity hiding in her spine and her parents are going to come out of there in the name of Jesus. Right. Take a breath and blow. Blow. Heal. Mm -hmm. What's wrong with you? Just still stuck on my past. I have this promise that I'm hoping for, and I feel like there's a lot of um, doubt coming in. Um, well, yeah, there's no way for you to move forward. Okay, that's not going to happen because you don't see yourself as God sees you. You're like a stranger. Like a what? Stranger. There's nothing wrong with you. Like I still have like this like spirit of like jealousy and insecurity. They're just making it up. It's all made up. Nothing wrong with you. He likes you. He likes you. And down in your heart here, when you were little, that's really all you wanted was somebody to like you. And then the devil sent you a bunch of bad men. It all compounded. And your Heavenly Father has been crying more than you have over here. Because He doesn't see anything wrong with you. But you do. You do. And you're going to repent of it, aren't you? Dear Jesus, please forgive me. Please forgive me, Lord, for looking at myself in a bad light. Please forgive me, Lord. I'm so sorry. I want this ugly spirit of rejection out of me right now. Come out right now. Come out of my throat. Come out, you filthy devil. Come out of me. You've lied to me since I was a child. Come out right now. Stop lying to me. I command you in Jesus' name. Come out. Right now. Take a big breath and blow. Blow. Thank you, Jesus. Come out. I repent. I'm repenting right now. I'm repenting right now. Criticizing myself. Running myself down. I am not a jealous person. That's a lie from a spirit of jealousy. That's a lie that he gave me and told me to believe it. I do not believe it. I do not believe that. I release it now in Jesus' name. I'm going to release it right now. Jesus, come out. There you go. Spirit, come out of me right now. Stop lying to me. Come out of my tummy. Come out of my lungs. Come out right now. Hurry up. Come out of there. Hey, what's wrong with you, hon? What's wrong with you? Um, mar our marriage. We're struggling. Communication. Struggling with uh, what? Communication or over-communicating. No, no, that's not the problem. No. Come out of there. Uh, no, you're a, a completely off the track. <clears throat> now, when you was little. When you was little. When I was little? Yeah. Did somebody, was somebody verbally hard on you? Come out of there. Yeah, critical, yeah. negative, nitpicker, pushy, domineering. Who was it? Come on. Both of them? And why didn't they like you? I never did anything right. They said that. They said that, right? Yeah, no, that wasn't true, though. 
you were just a child right and was your dad loud my dad was very quiet he actually didn't talk much he didn't well how did he hurt you then just i was i had fear fear for him I why was fearful because whenever he did talk i was getting in trouble or he was coming at me mm -hmm. yeah yeah mom me with my dad. <laughs> did you hear that are you listening yes sir all right now we've been married two years two years oh gosh now uh you married her dad you married her dad her mom they, so when you act like either of them she is triggered when you do if you act like either of them boom you know why? She, her soul is wounded. And the Holy Ghost touching her right now. Come on. Yeah, close your eyes. Here it comes. Thank you, Jesus. Come on out of there, Mama. Come out. Right now. Come out. I want my mother and my father out of my soul now. For the rest of my life, I belong to my Heavenly Father. There you go. Let your tears go. Let your tears go. Come, there it is right there. That's the Holy Ghost touching you. Come on, let your tears go. Both your parents have to leave you tonight. You cannot leave here with either parent. You only have one parent now, your Heavenly Father. That's it. You have do not have any more parents. Come out. Come out of there. Fear. Childhood fears. Come out in Jesus' holy name. Come on out. Come out of there. And a girl. Come out. Come out right now. Come out. I release my mother for the rest of my life. I give her to the Lord and I let her go. There you go. Let her go. Let your mother go. Thank you, Jesus. Come out right now. Come out. Every spirit of fear for my dad haunted me for the last 40 years. Out. Come out. Come out. Come out. Thank you, Jesus. Come out right now. Come out. All the fears I now have for my new husband, I now let them go. All the fears for him, I let them go. Come out. Come out there. Come out in Jesus' name. Come out right now. Come out right now. Come out. Come out there. I let my mother go. I let my dad go. I'm turning my husband over to the Lord right now, and I'm not going to try to fix him. I'm not going to try to fix my husband. I'm going to let him go. I give him to Jesus. There you go. Come on, sweetheart. Let these people go. Let these people go. Let them go. Now. There it is. Keep coughing. Come out. Here it comes. Thank you, Jesus. Come out right now. Every demon from your dad. Come out. Come on out. Every spirit from your dad. Every fear spirit you got from your dad. Breathe. Keep breathing. Come out right now. Hurry up. Come out of there quickly. Come out. Mother. Stop criticizing me. Stop running me down. Nothing was ever good enough. Come out. Come out, mother. Mother, come out now. Quickly. Quickly. I gotta let my mother go right now in the name of there it is. Keep coughing. Come on. Bad girl. Here they come. Keep going. There he is. There he is. Here he comes. Come out right now. Keep coughing. Come out right now. There he is, right there. Come out. Quickly. They're coming out right now. Keep going. Honey, you got the anointing. Take it. You're gonna get healed of your childhood tonight. Your childhood has got to come out. Quickly. 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 Come out of that body. Let it go. These people have to go right now, right now, right now. There they come. Keep coughing. Come on right now. Those are spirits coming out. There it is. That's your dad coming out quickly. That's your dad coming out. Come on, honey. You hold that. Hold that. Come out right now. There he is right there. Come out. Come up here so nobody can see you. Come out right now. Go. Come on, devil. Devil. There he is. He's coming out now. That's him. Come out, Satan. 
every ugly man that ever touched your body comes out tonight. All the bad men, all the lies, the users, go! Come out. Come out right now. Come out of my neck. Come out of my body. Come out in Jesus' mighty name. There they come. There he is right there. Here he comes. There he comes right there. Thank you, Jesus. Next one. Next. 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 Come on. Next. Come on. Next. Get out of that body. Get out of that body. Next. Mama. Daddy. Leave now. All my, all my husbands go. The poison's coming up. There it is. The poison. Come up right now. Poison. Let's go. Come on, everybody. Hey. Thank you. Listen, you only been married two years? Yes, sir. Oh, okay, listen. We can salvage this marriage. Yes. All right. if I, believe any... the Lord, I believe the Lord told me to come here with my wife. Oh, good. I, I've been now, following you. I trust you. I believe, I believe the Lord brought us here. Oh, good. Now, listen. She, she was abused as a child. So whenever you marry somebody, you're marrying their whole family tree. Every time you marry somebody, you marry the whole tree. Princip principally the parents of the spouse. Her parents abused her. See? So anytime the new husband acts or talks or looks at any way that triggers that from childhood, we, we had a perfect, then, we had a perfect uh, uh, everything, a perfect courtship. Uh, got married. Mm -hmm. As soon as I moved into the house, it started in one week. And yeah. I didn't notice too. It just, I, yeah. It just started. Yeah, no. See, that's the setup. So that, that, I've seen that a hundred times. The, the devil backs off of them, and they're getting long great. It, it was the most and he wants them to get married. It was the most beautiful thing I've ever experienced. Yeah, amazing. see that set up? But once we got married, it's just Yeah, no, 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 see how smart they are? That's, the, that's how smart they are. And now they're trying to blow it up. See? It was a setup. You follow me? Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm with you. Thank yeah, you. yeah. I'll call you Pastor, Dr. Wood. No, Mike. Oh, Mike. Nice Brian, to meet thank you. you. Thank Brian. Uh, so the, these two, the devil said, hey, why don't you guys get married? So I can nuke it. And as soon as I got married, boop, it nukes. I've had a couple dozen marriage counts and cases that blew up on the honeymoon. On the honeymoon. One of you sent me one. I've had a couple dozen of them blew up on the honeymoon. I'm not joking. No, I, 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 I follow you. Margie. Baby. Mm -hmm. I didn't notice you were sitting there. You're sitting there with Stephanie. Sitting there with Stephanie. Yeah, sit down over there. We're gonna pray for you. Sit down there. Yeah. So what? Okay. Now, uh, whenever were you married before? Yes, sir. How many times? This is my third. Third. Okay. So, as somebody keeps getting married, they keep picking up transfer spirits. This rotten spouse, that one there, they all transfer in. So, by the time he's third marriage, now these demons are jacking her up. Her demons are jacking him up. And they're button heads. So, before they got married, had I talked to them, We'd have had them go to deliverance before they got married and got rid of this spouse, that spouse, and what else? Was I actually did go through and broke generational curses, bloodlines, uh, and went through all that in Florida. No, that won't work. You got to get the spirit out of there. That's a, that's a. Isn't that, isn't that what I just said? Isn't that what you said? Or no, you I didn't. Thought, we got to actually get the demons out. Yeah, that, if you break bloodlines and all that stuff, that's only phase one. That's not enough. That's not going to work. It's not going to work. So, yeah, I know. You're a good man. Uh, you're, try, you're, you're an honest person, too. So this guy's got some hope because you, you can tell he's an honest person. He's legit. He's not trying to snow me. Okay? So, plus, plus uh, his IQ is pretty high. 
So this guy's pretty smart. He's got two okay. doctors. So yeah, so he's a collator. So I'm right now I'm trying to give him something to collate. Because he's the thinker. He processes like that. Boom, boom, boom. Fast. He can do ten things at once. See? I can't he's very bright. See? So uh, here's what I want you to collate on. Hold on a minute. Uh, stay right here. Hey, how are you feeling right now? Oh, I just feel like a little like. Um, no. I feel like there's still something there. Like yeah, there's something there. Now, what else? Um, is this your third marriage or second? No, no, my second. I was second. Young. Your first marriage was like, to. To my, uh, my children's father. What did he do to you? Sorry? What did he do to you? Oh, he, he struggled with manic depression. Oh, okay. And I, what was his name? Brian. My, my husband's name now, too. He the first Brian. Okay. Okay, now look. He triggers, he triggers a lot more with my husband. Yes. It's, now, your husband had spirits. Oh, yeah. He was, Huge spirits. He, he had a lot of spirits. A lot of spirits. He, uh, he opened the door with the Ouija board and, when and, he was in high school. And when you sleep with somebody, uh -huh. yeah, yeah. What was his name? Brian. <laughs> All right, Brian. You thought you were gonna hide, and you thought you were gonna. That there it is. Here he comes. Here he comes. Come out. Come out of there. There it is. Every spirit from Brian. You warlock. Come out of there, buddy. Come out of there, you witch. Come out. Right now. Brian, come out. Come out. Come out of there. Come out. Come out. Come out of there. She knows you're in there. You're coming out. Every transfer spirit from Brian, you come out of that body right this second. Come out of there. Hurry up. Hurry up. Come out. Yeah, there he comes. Here he comes. He's coming right now. There he is. Brian, come out. Come out, you warlock. Witchcraft, sorcery, mental illness, anger, anger, retaliation, vengeance. Come out. Lies. Brian lies. Come out of here. Here he comes. Here he comes. He's coming out your throat. There he is. There he is. He's coming out now. Brian, come out. Every demon from Brian, I command you, come out of the woman of God. Come out of her throat. Come up. Come up. Yeah, there he is. Come up. He's coming up right there. It's a snake. Come out. Come out of there, you snake. Come up. Come out of her vagina. Come out of her womb. Come on, buddy. Here he comes. There he is. Come out. Come out, you pervert. Now go. Go. Come out of there right now. Come out. Next. 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 Everything. There he comes. Good. Next one. Go. Next one. Come out quickly. Quicker. Quickly. Come out quickly. 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 Brian, you let her go. You lied to her. You tried to control her. You tried to beat on her. You tried to dominate her. Come out right now. Come out. You lied. You said you love her, loved her. You never loved her. Come out of there right now. Stop lying to her. Come out in Jesus' holy name. Come out of there. Now go. Go on. Let her go. There he is. Keep coughing. Come out. There it comes. Thank you, Jesus. Come out of there. Come out. There he is. Come on out. Quickly. Quickly. You get out of her kidneys right this second. Come out right now. There he is. Come out. Come up. Come out. <laughs> Grief and sorrow and misery. I command you to come out. A miserable marriage. Now, now the second one has started. Come out right now. Misery and sorrow. Come out right now. Bad men. Come out of that body right now. Out. 
Quickly, come out of her throat. There he is. Keep coughing. He's coming up right now. There he goes. Come on. Get out of there. Get out of there. Come out of there. Anger. Lies. Anger for years of frustration. Come out of her. Go now. Come out. Come out. I renounce anger. I repent of it. Come out. Spirit of anger, come out quickly. Come out. I repent of anger and bitterness. Being bitter against ugly men. I repent of it right now. Bad men, go. Come out. Yes. Get out of my throat. Tell him to come out. I command you to come out of my throat right this second. Right now. Come out of there. How are you feeling? Um, better. I feel better. Yeah. Praise the Lord. How are you? Did you change? Mm -hmm. Did you change? You did? I did. Oh. Thank you so much. I'm so sorry, Mike. All you did was help me. I'm so thankful for you and everybody here. Thank Love you. you. Well, what's going on here? I don't know. It's just I feel. Like, what? I feel like just heavy, heavy, heavy. Yeah, that's it's them. <coughs> yeah. I, yeah. I don't feel like I can breathe in out. I don't think they can come out. You don't have anything. What? I don't feel like any food or anything comes out. No, it's not. No, no it's a, it's spirit. It's a spirit. It's not food. Now, this is a result of years of bad men. No, no. I've been single for a long time. <laughs> no. When you're when you're not single, it's a setup. The demon said, "Hey, you've been single too long. It's time for you to take another beating." Okay? We got to get all these people out of there. You got to get healed first. He's going to be a tough case. He's really smart. He's a very high IQ. Okay? And they're very hard to get delivered. They think too much. Miracles come from love and childlike faith, not intelligence. Yeah, and you have to get healed first. What have I been through, Gilly? I've been through cleansing streams like five times. Does this look like you? Cleansing stream doesn't work. No, no, I, I Everybody did. went through it five yeah. times. It doesn't work. I get them in here all the time. Of course not. Did you, does it look like it worked? Did it look like it worked? It's been, it's been a while. Yeah. I mean, it's been a while that I did it. Does it matter? No. It doesn't work. No, you don't try and need to throw up. It's a spirit. Just get the spirit out. That's all it is. Okay, that's him. That's him. Okay, this is spiritual. Okay, in the name of Jesus Christ, I command these spirits from these bad relationships and my anger and my bitterness, this demon that got in my body, I command you to come out in the name of the Lord. Come out right now. Here it comes. That a girl, keep going. Come out, that a girl, keep going. Don't stop. Yeah, yeah. How you doing? Yeah. What's the blocker here? Fear of fear of men. Okay. Now, what you're really saying is, you don't trust God. Yeah. I'm a man. I'm standing right here. You afraid of me? Hmm? Okay. Are you afraid of him? This guy? Yeah, you are. But you're not afraid of him. You're not. You don't believe God's going to protect you. That's why you're afraid. You repent of it. Right now you get healed. Dear Jesus, I'm so sorry that I do not trust you. I'm so sorry I do not trust you. 
I don't trust you. I repent of it right now for being afraid and being fearful. I'm so sorry in the name of Jesus. Please forgive me, Lord. Come on now, just repent of it. If you won't repent of it, you can't get healed if you don't repent. That's how it works. He wants to what? Oh, I will. Hey, where do you live at? Oh, okay, great. Can you uh, go in my uh, bookstore and get one of my cards and call me tonight? Call you when? Call me tonight. Tonight? Yeah, so I want you to come in for a counseling appointment. Yes, sir. Because I got a lot of things I need to share with you. I got a lot of stuff I got to share with you. Yeah. And you'll pick it up quick. I, I, you're you're echo, easy. I can't hear it because you're echo. You'll, uh, you'll pick it up easy. Yeah. Quick. I, I, uh, would you still pray yeah. for me tonight? Yeah. <clears throat> What's your name? Brian. Brian, okay. And, and what, I was di- what, what I was dealing with was self pleasure. From a, I was no, that's not the problem. No. no that's, that's nothing. Well, no. I just want to be humble and honest about it. I just want to be honest with what I thought the problem was. No, that's okay. That's not the problem. Okay. Uh, Lord, you see this uh, man of God standing here. He's smart as a whip. He has a very strong mind. And I'm asking you to open his mind tonight so he can see that miracles come through love and childlike faith. They do not come through human intelligence or human wisdom. And I pray, Lord, if there's anything left of that little boy in there, the boy that wanted to please everybody and wanted to work hard, and wanted to be successful and wanted to show everybody that he was successful. And if there's anything left of tears. Tears. If there's any tears left, I want you to go down in this soul here. Pull those tears out, Lord, so he can fulfill his destiny. Because he has many good years left to serve you, but he can't serve here. He must must serve here. Here. I'm asking you, Lord. Please help him. He loves you and he's sincere. He needs a miracle. Now pray over him now, Lord, a husband prayer. Paul said that if a man dishonors his wife, his prayers are hindered. So I pray that you will bless him from this moment on to be careful what he says and does to his wife so that his prayers are not hindered. All of his prayers are to be answered. And he is to be healed and fulfill his destiny and his call. That's what he really wants. So I'm asking you to give him the gift of patience with her. Divine patience for women. I'm asking to give him the gift of childlike faith and love. All right, take a big breath. Holy Spirit, come. Again, come in, Holy Spirit. Come in. Came out of desperation. See that right there? Yeah. Feel that? Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. 
God bless you. I love you. Tell him you love him. Oh, God, I love you. God, I love you. I love you, Father. There you go. Good. Try it. Go. Let's go. Thank you, Jesus. I love you. I love you. I love you. Praise you, Lord. There. Good. Good, good, good. Praise you, Jesus. I love you. Good. Good, good, good. Good. Good, good, good. Thank you. That was perfect. Thank you, Jesus. I love you. I love you. Heal me, Lord. Heal me, dear God. Heal me, Lord. Uh, now, can you think of anything off the top of your head you got to apologize to her for? Anything at all yes, sir. off the top yeah. of your head? Yes, sir. It's been it. Hey. Mm. Mm. Have a seat here. Mm. He's got something he needs to talk to you about for a minute. Don't, don't talk back. Just let him talk. Who's that? Who's that? Oh, you just meet her? You're not with uh, Margie? You just met her? Yeah. What's wrong with you? Yeah. You need prayer? You brought who? The one with the bucket? Yeah. Now, when you was little... Was there any kind of spiritualism or witchcraft or anything in your family tree? Well, our grandpa was a medicine man. All right. What's his name? Johnny Wagner. Johnny? Okay. Close your eyes. Thank you, Jesus. Close your eyes. Every demon from grandpa, I'm talking to you right now. Sorcery, witchcraft, yeah. come out of her, there he is right there, come on up, come up out of her stomach, come on up, witchcraft come out, sorcery come out, come out in Jesus name, there it is, here he comes, here he comes, come out, come out right now, come out, hold that, come out right now, hurry up, come out of there you witch, come out you witch. Come out, you witch. Come out right now. Come out of there, you witch. Come out right now. Come out of her throat. Grandpa. Grandpa, come out. Come out, Grandpa. There he comes. Come out. Come out, you sorcerer. Sorcery. Come out, Native American witchcraft. Come out. Come out. Come out right now. Come out. Come out of there. Come out right now. Does she repent? Does she repent? Bring her over here. Come out right now. Get out of that body. Grandpa. Yeah. Did you repent of that? Huh? Other than what? Sorry for what? Sorry for what? Oh, okay. Now, you were not, you were not scared of me. That was a spirit in here. They're usually right in here. Fear spirit. He gave you that fear. Come out. That wasn't you. You weren't afraid of me. You're not afraid of anything. You're fine. He is. He is. You're fine. Right? They're, this is you and that's the spirit. They're two different individuals. True? You're not a demon. You're you. God loves you. He doesn't love them. See that? Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Raise your hands. Thank you, Jesus. Tell him you love him. Tell him you love it. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Come out here now. Thank you, Jesus. I am not afraid. Now he's afraid. There he is. Come out of her stomach, you filthy demon of fear. Come out of that body right now. Come on out. 
There he, here he comes. Here he comes. He's got your claws in your stomach. Come out of her. <coughs> come out. Come out of her. Claws, come out of her. Come out of her. Take your claws out of her. Take them out. Come up. Take them out. Come up. There he comes. Come out right now. Come out right now. Yeah, come out right now. Come out of that body. Take your claws out of there. There he comes. There he comes. There he comes. Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out of that body right now. Get out of there. Get out of that body. Come out of there. Come out right now. Come out of her back. Come out of her back in Jesus' holy name. Come out of her back. Come out of her spine. Come out of that body right now. Come out right now. Get out of that body right now. Satan, loose your hold. Come out, you devil. Come out, you monster. Come out of there. Come out right now. Go. Come out right now. Go. There you go. Keep coughing. They're coming out now. There they go. Come out of that body. Go in Jesus' holy name. Go. Come out right now. Come out right now. Get out of her back. Come out of her back. Come out of her back. Come out of her body right now. Go. Come out of there, you snake. Come out of there, you snake. Go right now. Go right now. And come out of there right now. You stop too early. Grandpa's not out. Let's go. You can't. You cannot stop. You have to get the rest out. You cannot stop. Come out of there. Do not stop. Come out of her back right now. You cannot stop. You have to get them all out. All of them out. You got to get them all out. Come out right now. Satan, come out. Satan, come out. Satan, come out. Come on over here. Satan, come out. <clears throat> Satan, come out. Come out right now. Come out right now. Come out right now. You're a sister. Same demons. Do both of them. Do both of them. Come out of that body. How'd it go with Stephanie? How'd it go? Mike, I fell against her legs. Oh, she's okay. Well, how did it go with Stephanie? Yeah. Did you read it? What'd she tell you to do? Yeah, now, can you repent of that? When you when you said something negative, that just wiped everything out. There you go. And you and you know me. I'm the most honest person in the world. Yeah, I'm being honest. I'm, me too. If if you I know you do. I, I'm I'm trying to show you how to how to fix it. Okay. You you can't say it. Yeah, I know. Yeah, you're definitely dying soon. I had to do a lot. I know. I know. Okay, but did what did Stephanie tell you to do? Is there is there anything you need to change? I'm not going around doing anything wrong. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Everything forgiveness. You know, 
uh, yeah. repentance for everything my family's done. Uh, and you know, things I've never even heard of or been involved in. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I did everything. I've done it in the past mm -hmm. a million times. Mm -hmm. I did it with her. Mm -hmm. And she was more thorough than okay. any of the other people. Mm -hmm. She was. But, okay. And um, I, I had her in tears. I heard her in tears. Because, <laughs> because, <laughs> because Fantastic. You got angry at what? I got a back right now. Just like, um, oh, that was a snake that went in your back. I'm not doing anything wrong. All I do is pray. No. He's a liar. He's a liar. Okay. No. He's a liar. Nobody said you're doing anything wrong. Thank you, Jesus. The only thing that's wrong is what you're saying. When you say negative things, wipe out your prayers. But I'm honest. No, on, if you're honestly negative, it wipes your prayers out. Praise God. Did you know that? When we ask somebody for help, you have to be honest. Yeah, and then you said, that's, that's not saying something negative, asking for help. Then you said something negative after that. What was that? You said, Victory! Victory! Yeah. Did you ever? Did you say anything negative about God? She made me repent of that too. Did you repent? Yes. What would you repent of? Did you say? Okay. I've been really sick. Now, do you do you know what something negative? Do you know what negative words are? Do you know what negative words are? Okay. You need to repent of any negative words that you can think of. Any negative things you said about God or yourself? Okay. What was it? And I showed it. I, I go to the keyboard, and I can't do anything with my crippled hand, but I can play a, a little bit to him. Oh, boy, and, you love and, and so I lay loved. down, and I pray 24 so hours loved. a day. Okay, now, now that's not that's what we were not, talking about. No, that's, but that's my positive thinking. No, that's, that's not going to work. Okay. Uh, you, you, Jesus said you cannot serve two masters. You... You're serving two masters. You said something negative, and then you went to worship. And that wipes your prayer out. Yeah, I know that. But when you say something negative, that wiped out your prayer. Then how do I get him to come to me? What? How do I get the to come to? Uh, that's what I just told you. If 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 you say something negative, that blocks your prayers. So all we have to do is fix the negative, and the blessings will come. Nothing. No. Okay. She uh, she's deteriorating. Yeah, she's getting, she getting older. She's 44 now. Praise You believe that? <clears throat> hey, how'd that go? I feel much better. Yeah. Praise God. Yeah. If you repent, the demons will come out. You're not a 98-pound weakling. I'll tell you that. I went flying. You know how you were talking about which path in that? Yeah. Yeah, come on over here. Did you have witchcraft in your family tree? Yeah, and also I used to mess yeah. stuff. Come on over here. <clears throat> you got to get all, the, every demon from grandpa has to come out of there. Every one of them. Every curse, every shaman, every... Every chant, every every spirit from grandpa and your great grandpa, every spirit of witchcraft from your family tree has got to come out of there. New age source. Oh, there it comes. Come out of there. 
Come out of that body right now. Come out. Come out right now. Hurry up. And there we go. Satan, lose your hold of me. Come out, you devil. Come out of her body. Right now, quickly. Evil, come out. Evil. Evil. Get out of there. Get out of my body. Go on. Come on out quickly. Come out quickly. Come out. Keep going. At a girl. All the poison from witchcraft and shamans. Get out of that body right now, you pervert. You child molester, come out of there. Child molestation, incest, demon of incest. Come out. Incest. Come out of there quickly. Incest. You pervert. You child abuser. There he comes. You child abusing pervert. Go. Come out in the name of the Lord. Come out in Jesus' name. Get out of there right now. Come out. Hurry up. Come out. Go. Come out of there right now. Anger. Bitterness and anger. Come out. Frustration. Go. Frustration. Come out. Get out of that body. Get out of that body. Come out of there. Every ugly man that ever touched my body, every pervert that ever laid a hand on me, come out of my body right. Come out of my joints right now. You got any pain in your body? Yes, sir. Where? Where is it at? You got any pain in your body? Where? My knees. Knees. Low back. Low back and knees. All right. My inner. What's wrong with your knees? They said it was bone to bone. I haven't. Oh, uh, bone to bone. All right, that's fixable. Ah, thank but you, Jesus. Ready? Yes, sir. Thank you, Jesus. You made me brand new. Yo. There's nothing in these bones. Yo. Hold me down. Stand up. Stand up. Right. Okay, check it out. Check it out. Anything? So worse, better, or the same? Come out of that body, chronic frustration. Come on. Worse, better, or the same? What's better? Your knees are better? Yeah, walk faster. Walk this way. Faster. What happened? It doesn't hurt? No. I feel like I'm walking on sponge. Feels like a sponge. Yeah. Okay, walk down there. Go quicker. Add a girl. Good girl. There she goes. Bone on bone knees. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. This lady just got healed. Bone on bone knees. Kick your legs up. Kick them up, honey. Thank you, Jesus. Keep giggling. Thank you, Jesus. Bone on bone, knees healed right here. See that lady? She just got delivered from witchcraft, from Native American witchcraft. Witchcraft is the worst thing you can get involved in. It's the worst thing in the world. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Keep laughing. Go. Thank you, Lord. So much for that knee injury. You come out of this body right now. I command you to come out of her. You're going to let her go tonight. This is the end. Right now. Quick, quick, quick. There it comes. Thank you, Jesus. Come out, every devil. Come out of there, you filthy devil. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. One bad knee healed, two bad knees healed. If she had three legs, there would have been three healings. She's only got two legs. Nuts. Darn it. 
Who else needs to be healed? Who's next? I just want to give you my card. Oh. You right now. oh, I'll call you. Okay, you want me to call you? So I'm ready to see you as fast as you want to see me. Oh, so I'll put you on the schedule. Thank you. Hey, <clears throat> are you guys going to be around tomorrow at noon? Because I'll be in the other sanctuary teaching tomorrow. If you're, gonna, if you're off. If you're off. Keep laughing, honey. Good girl. Look at her knees. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. There's nothing to be afraid of. Love you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. She's still laughing. Her knees are healed. That gal just got healed. It's a Holy Ghost on a rampage. You? <laughs> Follow her around. Go. Start laughing. Giggle. Let's go. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for healing my knees. Be healed. This is my body broken for you. Yeah, how'd that go? What's left? Keep laughing. What's left in there? I've been having some. Uh, there's this person on my worship team that I've been having some uh, critical thinking about. Mm -hmm. And I've also been, telling, been having critical thinking about myself and my. Ability of my musician. No, oh, no, you're do, you're going back to the dark side. I'm just saying that that's what I'm battling. Well, that's a first step back to the dark side. Now go ahead and repent. I repented of it again. I repented in Mike's office, and then the demons started to come back, and I started to listen to him again, and I'm not supposed to do that. I listened to my Heavenly Father. I don't listen to demons anymore. We got a divorce. Now you mind control spirit, come out of that body right now. Get out of there. Come out of that body right now. I told you to come out of there right now. Come out right now. She repented. You can't stay in there if she repents. Come out of that body. Come out of that body right now, quickly. Here he comes. Shake out of her brain. Shake out. Come out of her brain. Mind control. Mind control. Come out. Get out of there. Come out of that body. Come out of her brain. Right now, go. I have to get emotional. In Jesus' name, leave. You come out of that body right now. Get out of that body right now. No, hold on me. Get out of Jesus' name. Go. Come. Go. 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 Come out of her. Lift out. Lift up. Lift out of there. Lift out of there. Lift out of that body. Come out. Come out of there, you demon of insanity. Come out. There he is. Keep coughing. Come out. Insanity. Come out. Insanity. I am not insane. Go. Get out of that body right now. Hurry up. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Join in and start laughing. Go ahead. Follow her. Right here. Go on. Go on. Go on. 
Crank it up. Atta girl. Come on. Crank it up. There they go. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I need my cam or my phone real quick. Can you grab it for me? I got to take a picture of this. This is unbelievable. Some gal got a uh, new cartilage in her knees, and she's walking around in there. And they're all, uh, two other people were depressed. Now they're all laughing. Because he literally goes over every scripture. And, um, and, uh, what happens there, um, he wrote a book on Awesome. <laughs> I'm getting ready. Yeah. Like, how do you get through the deliverance? Is that when you find your purpose? How'd you do? Good. Man, I can't believe you touched me on all kinds of stuff. Did you have any happiness or anything? Yeah, I girl was making me laugh. Oh, really? Oh, like I said, three or four different Get behind her. Get behind her. Go ahead. Start. Giggle. Start it up. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. <clears throat> Thank you, Jesus. Her knees are healed. Her soul's healed. Thank you, Jesus, for delivering me. Thank you for touching me. Thank you for the Holy Spirit. Thank you for God's miracle working power. Thank you for mercy. Thank you for mercy. Thank you for healing. How She's you doing, a pastor. Teacher? She's Who? A pastor of mine. Oh, good. Blow her out. Uh, YouTubers, this is Brother Mike signing off. Please go to the website, hardcorechristianity.com. This is the first time in uh, 15 years this has happened here. Uh, three women with depression are now in there giggling and laughing. Another one lady there just got uh, cartilage put in both knees. And she was suffering from clinical depression and got delivered from witchcraft spirits. Her grandfather was a shaman. Go to the website, hardcorechristianity.com, and hit the uh, teaching button, please, and read the article on how Satan controls the mind. Read the article on Satan's counterattack. You will be hit within 48 hours of this service. I'll be back next Friday, part three, autonomic processing, the divine revelation God gave me of why people lose their minds. See you next, see you next time.